Hope will arise out of the ashes of our past broken relationships, fractured families, and personal struggles. Come walk a mile with me as we allow Jesus to clean out the mess and organize the rest. Welcome to the Bridging Broken to Breakthrough podcast. I am your host, Maria Wingard. Grab your shoes, lace them up as we start strolling through this week's episode. Christmas Socks for the Gray of January, Part 1. There are seasons in life that mark you. There's a scarring and a changing that does not allow you to go back to life as normal. A winter for your soul. The void between Christmas and the birthing of life that spring brings. The desolation and isolation of winter spent hunkered down to survive and simply keep warm. The gray of January while looking at Christmas past through rose-colored glasses. We all experience this at some point in our lives, a season that is so life-altering we feel our outward appearance should somehow announce this scar to the world, reflecting our weathering. It just seems fitting that everyone should see the change, the mark, the memorial stone in the middle of our personal River Jordan crossing. Wandering in the desert marks you, lending a rosy hue to Egypt's horrors. While entering the promised land usually doesn't come with any fanfare due to the weariness and relief received from finally crossing over, it does contain promise wrapped in uncertainty. The marking gives you quiet strength with soberness to simply put one foot in front of the other. You know celebration can't quite cross your mind yet this side of the river, as you know it's not yet over. Each weary step contains the knowledge of battles looming ahead over the land. Promised land with promised victories from an almighty God doesn't translate into just waltzing right on in. There's a contending that must take place, a fight for what is not quite yet yours. In the middle of war, choose to be the one who loves. In the middle of battle, be the one who chooses inclusion. Be the one who brings Jesus to the table of your enemies. In order for you to make it through the gray of January into the heart of February, it will require you to wear Christmas socks. Do you believe? Do you remember what happened at Christmas? Not to go back there, but to remind yourself with shaky faith that believes in and desires to see a fresh move of God, knowing how he provided in Egypt without running from his new direction for us. In the march across the riverbed, not everyone can transition with you. Remember, an entire generation had to die off before the Israelites could enter the promised land. Those that held on to the romanticized glitz of Egyptian Christmas can't see the newness waiting for them in the heart of February. They will not survive January. They are the branches that break under the weight of the snow. Unbelieving mindsets can't go with you because access to the promised land is only available through belief in a holy God and in his goodness. In this season, it is important to look for those also wearing Christmas socks. They are the ones that believe. They remember what God did in Egypt without wanting to go back there. They want God in the new land because they saw him in the old. Look for others who fight for unity, love, and inclusion. They wear socks of Christmas, the hopeful joy in the barrenness of winter. This winter of your soul holds uncertainty in life. It is where you have promises from God that the land is yours, but you must take it by force and contend for your promised land. You will fight thoughts walking into battle, wondering who around you is committed. Will your relational sacrifices and oceans crossed for others be reciprocal? Look for those wearing Christmas socks. But remember, you won't usually see them 
until their shoes come off. Some things are only known after the ice snaps their branch. The gray of January strips everyone bare indiscriminately, killing off leaves and dropping dead branches. Psst, can I tell you a secret? Learn to love God and love who you are in this season. It will give you peace and security. Insecure people wallow in jealousy and always feel deprived because they do not really appreciate who God created them to be. Envy doesn't look good on anyone and it will keep you in Egypt. Life fact. Everyone is hated by someone. Everyone is loved by someone. No matter what you do, you will not be the exception to either of these facts. So, focus on those that love you. Pray for those that hate you. And don't let either distract you from what God has called you to do. I am grateful you decided to walk a mile with me. Your host, Maria Wingard, on the Bridging Broken to Breakthrough podcast. I pray that through our conversation, Jesus reveals how he is bridging broken to breakthrough as we stroll through another mile in this journey called life. Hope will arise if you let him in your life today. To listen to past episodes or find out more, please visit hopewillarise.com.